Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome back to another video. This is video number 173 and today I've got a story for you from one of our virtual assistant clients, Mark Evans, who is tackling a hoarder's stuff. We did this interview by email so uh, it's just going to be me telling you his story. But Mark is one of my clients who uses our eBay virtual assistant service and he agreed to share his story and his progress since starting with us. Mark works a full-time job and does eBay on uh, the weekends and in the evenings as he has time. He sold on eBay since 2004 but has never sold clothing. He's been a steady client for eight weeks now. So uh, today is March 2nd, 2017, so his story starts about two years ago. In March of 2015, his sister called him, knowing that he dabbled with eBay a little, and asked if he wanted to go look through a hoarder's house. And his first thought was, heck no. He had the image of the TV shows you see with dirty, smelly garbage that is unsellable. So. Of course, this is what he thought it would be like, and if you've seen the hoarder TV shows, most of the stuff in these homes is not sellable. Most of it is garbage. Um, it's decayed. It's uh, unsanitary. There may be pet feces on it. There's mold. There's insects. All kinds of stuff going on. So in most cases, the stuff is just uh, trashed because it's unsanitary and it's not sellable. But his sister informed him that her friend who was a social worker told her about a client that she was helping. Uh, the lady we will call Saint, uh, Sally had a distant uncle and left her a large sum of money. Sally spent every dime she got from that uncle on clothing and other items and was flat broke. She also bought a newly built house to store most of these items and never lived there and didn't have any furniture or appliances. So this is the actual house and really nice house, big, probably two or three thousand square feet and she specifically bought this house just to put her stuff in it. Never lived there. So Mark set up a date and time when he could go check it out and met at the house one evening and was quite overwhelmed with what he saw. He walked in the back door and the stuff was piled up six feet high, thousands and thousands of brand new items, but no smell, no garbage, not like on the TV shows. There were other people there buying stuff. The first floor of the house was so full you couldn't help but walk on all the clothes to get around. So this is the actual picture Mark took of what's going on in that house when he went there to look at, at what he could buy and you can see the clothing is just almost to the ceiling and all you know these people are trying to go through it and uh, and buy stuff and then here's another shot of um, some more stuff set aside there he asked the social worker about the second floor and she said it was the same way but untouched and that's what he was interested in he did not want the stuff that had been walked on or dug through she wasn't letting anyone upstairs yet to look. Most of the people were picking and buying single pieces, so he asked if he could make an offer on a whole room. She told him once everyone left, they would go upstairs and he could pick a room. They had to literally dig their way up the steps for hours to get to the second floor. So you can see here, this is another picture of the inside of the house. Um, of course, Mark never knew we'd be documenting this, so um, it's a little fuzzy, but you can see that the stuff is just piled up. The stairs are impassable. They had to clear all this out to even get up there to see what was upstairs. He picked two bedrooms full of clothing and books, all new in the bags, just as she bought them, and came to an agreement on price. And that's when the work really started. Two months prior to this, he had gotten a serious hand injury and been off work and with only one hand to work with had to get some help to pack and sort all the clothing. He can remember going back to the house the next day to remove the items and just stood there and thought what the hell did I get myself into. 
And we've probably all had that thought when we've bought large amounts of inventory at a time because the reality sets in when you actually have to deal with it. He's a 40-year-old male and didn't know anything about women's clothing. Luckily for him, his family gave him a hand cleaning out and sorting, and that was as far as he got with the items. He did sell some makeup items and kitchen items on his own, but the clothing was so intimidating, so they just sat in the boxes. Then, back in December 2016, he had seen um, one of my blog posts about the virtual assistant service, and a light bulb went on. Why not give it a try? This was the perfect way for him to go through his inventory. He was, um, this was a busy time of year for him, so he made a point to start it at the first of the year. I'm glad I gave it a trial. There was no way I would have done this on my own. So as of uh, yesterday, March 1st, 2017, he has 160 items listed from this lot. And uh, since he started with us, he sold about 60 items. So that's almost, he sold almost 30, a third of what we've listed. He thinks he has another 300 or so to go. He tries to get 20 items a week photographed and sent to his VA, and that's a good pace for him. Sally, the owner of the house, still alive. Uh, Mark thinks she's in an assisted living facility. It's sad to think she had this terrible illness of hoarding with no family at all to help. And it is sad. Hoarding is not funny. It, it's, it's an illness, and it is, it's very difficult for the family to deal with that. Um, there's no split on the profits. He owns the inventory outright. Um, he had thought about hiring local help, but didn't think he could handle training someone for eBay that that would take too long. So Mark says without this service, the boxes of clothing would still be sitting untouched. And he wanted to thank us for helping him through this task. He could not have done it properly without us. So thank you, Mark. And we, we enjoy working with you, too. Um, I want to say that Mark is successful because with this service because he is consistent with what he sends of us. Even if it's just 20 things a week, um, you can see over time it's going to build. And that's going to build his inventory and the profits are going to come, but you have to be consistent. And he's committed to getting this done now. He's made a decision to do it. Um, another difference is that um, he treats eBay like a business. He's not attached to this inventory. It's just stuff he's selling to make money. And that is a huge factor in being successful with eBay at all, is being able to let go of your inventory and not be attached to it. So. The three things about Mark is his consistency, his persistent, and non-attachment to the inventory. It's just stuff that we're selling to make money. Okay, so I will put a link to Mark's store um, below the video. Actually, you can see he doesn't have a whole lot of feedback, but again, he's consistent with what he's doing. So you can see there um, in the past month, he's got 18 feedback, so that's probably 40 or more sales and in the past 12 months he's had 59 so most of what he's selling right now is the stuff from this hoarder lot that he purchased and his store is called Old Sheep Hill and again I will put a link to that below um, if you go look at his listings you can see that you can sort them by newly listed and the ones that we have listed for him will come up he takes the pictures, sends them to us. We have all of his client information um, as far as what kind of listing, does he want best offer, how to set up the shipping, all of that stuff um, already in our system and we just list the items for him. So if you have a situation where uh, you're full-time eBay and you just cannot seem to move your business forward, um, you know you need more help, but you don't want to have to train the help, or you're having trouble finding help locally, or you have a big project like this, we can help you. I will put a link to the service, my uh, virtual assistant service, below the video, and you can check that out. And uh, schedule a phone call with me just to talk about how it works and what you have. Um, no pressure. I'm not a salesperson. I'm a teacher, so if it doesn't work for you, that's fine. 
um, but this is working for a lot of people and I will be sharing some more of their stories um, this coming year. So thanks for watching and have a great day on eBay. Bye.